Hey church family, thanks for joining Daily Touch Points today. So excited to jump into it. John 21, we're finishing up John today. It's a great, beautiful story. Uh, I want to focus in on one part of it. Uh, this chapter recounts the beautiful story of another miraculous catch of fish, a Jesus classic. And after the miraculous catch of fish, Jesus cooks a meal and eats with his disciples. And there's this especially poignant scene where the Apostle Peter, just the, the last time he had seen Jesus, basically, he had denied Jesus three times in a row after Jesus predicted that he would do that. So you can only imagine how Peter is feeling coming into this scene. And towards the end of the meal time, Jesus addresses Peter directly, and he asks him three times, Peter, do you love me? And he gives Peter the opportunity to, in a beautiful, symbolic way, somewhat reverse the previous decisions he had made and say, yes, Jesus, I do love you. Instead of denying him, I love you, I love you, I love you. And it's what a lot of biblical scholars call the reinstatement of Peter. And it's this beautiful, beautiful scene. But I want to focus in on what happens immediately after that. It's kind of a funny little bit. But Jesus says, um, feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go. This he said to show by what kind of death he, Peter, was to glorify God. And after saying this, he said to him, follow me. So Jesus is telling Peter that he's going to pass away in this certain way in order to glorify God. So Peter turns and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved also known as John, following them. And jump into verse 21. When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? You can imagine Jesus just told Peter, like, you're going to die in this way. And Peter's like, well, what about him? How's, how's he going to die? Right? Jesus said to him, if it is my will that he remain until I come, what's that to you? You follow me. See, family, I just want to leave us with this one thought that comparison steals so much joy and so much life from us. So it's so easy for us to look at others in our life and say, well, God, what about them? Why do they have this? Why do they not have to do this? And it's so easy for us to compare our contentment to other people. They have this, they, and I don't, I wish I was like them, or our accomplishment to other people. They, they've done this, and I feel like I don't measure up compared to them. But what does Jesus say to Peter? He says, you follow me. He says, take your eyes off of the people around you and put your eyes back on me. And this, this is more than Jesus giving Peter a slap on the wrist. He's helping Peter come back to true joy, true peace, to not spend my life fruitlessly comparing myself to others and wondering about what other people are going to do. God is going to give different assignments and tasks to different ones of us. And what we are called to do is keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, not on others, and follow him only there is abundant life, true joy and peace found when we fix our eyes on and follow Jesus. Let's give that our all today. Love you, CA family.